and welcome to today's Bible Talk. My name is Greg, and this is my good friend Goody, and we're so glad that you're here today. Now, Goody decided he was going to help me today, so he has been working on something for us to talk about for a, a couple of days now, and I'm sure that he's going to... Do what? Do you say something? No? Okay. So Goody has been preparing stuff for a long time. He's pretty good at this, and so he spent some time... Did you say no? You didn't... You didn't figure out anything for us to talk about? Oh, no. Well, what are we going to do, Goody? Is there anything that you can talk about? You have something, but you don't really want to share it? Is it because you don't want to share it, or you're just kind of embarrassed or afraid? You're afraid to share it? Well, I'll tell you what. Goody has something special that he can do. When he has a hard time sharing things, we can check his heart. Goody, can we check your heart? We can. That would be great. Goody, now Goody has a special heart that has a heart pocket in it. It's not like our heart. And so what we can do is we can check his special heart and see what's in that pocket, and it looks like a piece of paper. Goody, I don't think we want a piece of paper in your heart, do we? No, I didn't think so. Let's take that out. Let's put your heart back inside your special pocket. All right, let's find out what this piece of paper is that you've got in your heart that you're not real sure about sharing with us. It's, oh, would you look at that? That's a question mark, Goody. Why do you have a question mark in your heart? There's some things that you're unsure of. Okay. You're not going to school, and you're not going to church, and you're kind of scared of that? Well, you know what it is? It is kind of, kind of worrisome when we don't really know what's going on. Um, let's see. There's probably some Bible verses that would help us. Let's think about that. Worry and afraid. Hmm. I know a verse. I know a guy in the Bible that probably felt a lot like you did. His name was Joshua. Joshua was a good friend of a man named Moses. You've heard of Moses? I bet you have. Moses has got some good stories in our Bible. We learned a lot from him in the past, and maybe in the future we'll talk about him too. But Joshua was an assistant. He was a helper for Moses. And so Moses... When he got old and he had been leading the people for a long time, trying to get them to a place called the Promised Land, that was a land that God had promised to his people, the Israelites. Moses had taken them right up to the Promised Land. They'd been working for a long time to get there. And then Moses died. Yeah, but before he died, he told Joshua that he was going to be the next leader of the Israelites. And so Joshua became the leader of this great group of people as they went into this new land, what God had promised them. But the land, he didn't know a lot about the land, and there were probably people in there that they didn't like, that didn't like them. And so apparently Joshua, he was worried, he was afraid. And I know this because the Bible talks about the words that God told him. And God told him the same thing three times in the Bible. Let's check out... Joshua chapter 1, we're going to start in verse 6 and see what it is that God told Joshua when he was afraid. It says, Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the laws my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And you know, Joshua led the people into the promised land. Um, but you know, three times in, that, in those verses, God told Joshua to be strong and be courageous, to not be afraid. And I think those words were great for Joshua, and I think they would help us and you today, don't you think? Yeah, because we know from that verse that anytime we're afraid, that we're not alone, that God is with us. It doesn't matter where we go or where we are or what we're doing. God is with us. Doesn't that make you feel better? It makes me feel good to know that my God is with me. Okay? I tell you what, I don't want to put this, this question mark back in your heart because we don't want you feeling worried or afraid. Here's what I want to do. I want to put this little Bible in your heart, okay? Because God told us to meditate on His Word, 
to, to remember it. And so to, and meditating and remember it means that we, we lock it in and we remember it. And so the next time that we're afraid or we're worried, if we remember that verse that we're going to learn here in just a minute, it pops into our head and we can remember that God is with us. So I'm going to lay you back over. We're going to take your heart pocket and I'm going to put this Bible in there so that when you are afraid or you're worried, you can remember that God is with you no matter where you are or what you're doing. Okay. Now, boys and girls, that verse works for us too. So I think it's important that we remember it. So we're going to learn Joshua 1.9. So here's what the verse says. I'm going to put it on the screen, and I want you to say it with me. Okay. It says this, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Now, discouraged means to lose hope. We can be hopeful that God is with us. Let's start over. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's an important verse to know. Let's try it again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will go with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 All right. Is it starting to sink in? Let's do this. I'm going to take a couple of the words away from the screen, and let's see if we can remember those words as we say the verse together. All right. It says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Did you say it? I didn't hear you. Say it nice and loud. All right, let's try it again, but I'm going to take a few more words away. All right. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. How are you doing? Are you remembering it? All right, let's take a few more words away. All right. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Are you doing all right? Okay. We're going to be super hard. We're going to take all the words away. Let's see how well we do. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. How'd you do? Was it hard? I bet you can do it. Well, keep working on that verse. It's found in your Bible in the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. That's an important verse. So that when we get scared or afraid, we can remember that it doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing, that God is with us. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you have a great day, and we'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.